Okay guys, what's going on? This is uh, Matt again. Today we're snorkeling a 2001 Honda Rubicon. Uh, we've got all the plastics pulled off. Everything's pretty much pulled out so far. Air box, everything. We're going to go ahead and go in real deep on this one and uh, check everything out. We're going to pull vent lines. We're going to do everything. So we went ahead and went the whole nine yards today. Um, so far I've got the air box pretty much sealed up. We've got black silicone around every joint inside and out it looks like this it's a big mess but like i say um you can never really use too much of it right so uh anyways it's got everything sealed up pretty good we're gonna go ahead and start it off like this we're gonna have a we're gonna thread a one a two inch uh, male connector into the intake and from there we will go and connect a piece of pvc with a 45 or a 90 in cup in a coupling, a rubber coupling. Um, so uh, I'm gonna post this video in segments. So um, this is part one. So uh, any questions, just leave them in the comments. Thanks. Okay guys, so uh, <clears throat> in the first part of the video, uh, I was telling how we we're gonna do all the vent lines and everything like that. And uh, so we got all the vent lines pretty much run, all the vent lines for the uh, rear differential, the rear brake, the overflow for the coolant. We even vented, went ahead and vented it. We've got the uh, air box and everything sitting in here like, uh, like it was out of the bike earlier, but now we've got it all set up and it's sealed up around the carburetor and everything. We've got the front differential, front brakes, and um, even the fan on the back of the radiator it's a vent everything's vented and all the vent lines run up underneath the handlebars they all sit in behind this little plastic casing right there all behind here and what it is is there's holes drilled i'll pop it up and show you all real quick uh what it is is there's holes drilled and there each vent line has a zip tie to keep it from falling back down in the holes and it'll pretty much, you know, keep out all the moisture out and stuff like that. I, I've, you may have seen my three, how to snorkel a Honda Rancher 350 ES. Um, that is uh, the same setup I did on that bike as well. And I've had it for a couple of years now and it's doing fine. I haven't even had to take the air box off of it yet. So uh, anyways, this is the setup so far. We were going to use a two inch, but uh, things got pretty tight up here in the front. So I went ahead and ran a hose and I got some uh, spa hose. It's not the greatest. It's white. They didn't have the black stuff like uh, they did the last time when I got it for my bike. But anyway, it's kind of a deal that needs to be done right now. So we'll just paint it with some plastic dip and uh, try to make it look the best we can. The spa hose is going to run underneath here like so. And um, probably in the next part of the video, I'm going to show you all. I'm going to come up right through here through the rack probably. Probably, probably right around this area right here to give us a nice uh, flush look. Uh, make them right here. I don't know. I'm going to try to not mess the plastic up as much as possible. I really hate drilling through the plastics, but I don't like the ones on, that run on the outsides of the bike. So anyways, this is where we're at right now. Um, we're in the process of just getting everything uh, straightened out. So uh, I'll see you all in the next part of the video. Okay, this is the uh, finished product. Okay guys, so uh, here's the third part of the video. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, here's the third part of the video. We went ahead and uh, connected our hose. Now we're going to run it. Um, I, wanted to hit, I wanted to go with two inch like I said earlier, but uh, I had a lot of issues trying to get a two inch all the way through and under the plastics and everything. It looked kind of look pretty bad so uh, I think this is going to look a lot cleaner and nicer once it's finished um, what we got is we went ahead and like I said earlier everything's all the uh, vent lines are done we went ahead now and we connected a two inch into the box two inch piece of PVC and used a factory clamp with some silicone around it we went ahead and ran us a coupling put some uh, good bit of uh, silicone around it as with the spa hose and we ran the spa hose underneath the reason i went underneath was to kind of keep it out from rubbing up against the shock mounts and everything all this stuff's going to end up being painted or well, the ma majority of it maybe it just kind of depends uh, it's really a pain in the butt so i don't see the point in painting a lot of the, that it's going to be hidden and when you slide it in it just scratches all the paint off so uh, anyways 
This is how we have it run. It's like I said, it's one and a half. This is just a temporary deal here. Just this is just for running. I'm gonna uh, end up cutting that off and putting a piece of PVC pipe up, make it look really nice, as you'll see later on in the video. But I just kind of wanted to let y'all see what's going on here. Everything's sealed up around here. A lot of a lot of silicone, a lot of it. But uh, you know, I'm a strong believer in it. If that's what saves the machine, then. My God, use all you got. It doesn't cost that much. And uh, anyways, went ahead and got everything, you know, even the uh, the crankcase and transmission vent. Everything's vented. You know, it's uh, it's a pretty good seal job, so I hope it works well. Um, anyways, I'll keep uh, posting some videos and letting y'all kind of see the outcome of it. Hey, guys, what's going on? Uh, it's Matt again. Um, this video is probably a little whacked up on YouTube uh, you know I'm kind of going in and out and back and forth but I wanted to just keep you know making a couple of videos uh, throughout the process um, maybe I'll hit a few, a couple few a couple high notes that are important on things uh, maybe some people miss um, anyways like I said earlier in the first video we have all the vent lines are run everything's run up to the front underneath this cap went ahead and went with a two inch pipe that went inside the factory sleeve put the factory band around it got it all clamped down good then we went from a two inch to a one and a half inch reducer and the reason i went from a two and a half two inch to one and a half reducer is because i was having trouble getting a two inch in here as you can see and uh one and a half is man it's it's bulging almost so uh it's about all it can take so what i did was i took a um a one and a half inch coupling here as you can see so on there i need to remove that uh, got a lot of art, um, a lot of black silicone here. The pipe runs underneath the bike, down through here. I did it a little different. I kind of went and routed it underneath here, like so, and went in between the frame and then came back out. And the reason I did that was to prevent uh, shock rubbing. Um, as you can see, the shock is right here. And if I wouldn't have done that, the pipe would have come out somewhere right here, and I'd have had to curl up around the shock. And uh, anyways, it, it, it just it would have probably caused some problems later on and I didn't just I just didn't like that idea that rubbing that shock so then what I did is I cut my hole here this is a two and an eighth and uh and this is temporary uh you'll see the final result at the end of the video this is just for now until I can get the pipe and stuff tomorrow um but this is what we have now I just gave it a run everything runs great uh it cranks and it runs i mean cranks up perfect you know it's no jetting but the bike does have a K&N air filter in it so that may make some difference for some of you uh, anyways the bike cranks up nice and clean it revs up high up here. that's good under load half throttle everything runs good so uh, we just gave it a test run in the field and uh it ran really well so um i'm sure tomorrow i'll try to get out in the water with it and uh, give it a test stuff uh, this uh put some dial grease on that plug and stuff but as you can see the vent lines are pretty much all coupled together like that and the vents all run underneath so uh anyways um like i keep saying and throw out the other parts of the video if you've got any questions just uh comment below and subscribe if you want all right thanks